New tonight, we now know 21 veterans have died waiting for medical care from New Mexico VA hospitals. That adds to the growing list of problems with care across the country. Now, as KOAT Action 7 News reporter Nancy Laughlin shows us, local administrators say they're ready to fix the issues and make sure vets get what they need. 60,000 veterans get medical care at Albuquerque's VA hospital every year. But an audit just released shows this place needs some healing. When I came out of the operation here, I'm in a recovery room trying to recover, and the doctor's telling me he's leaving, going to California. Veterans have complained about a shortage of doctors and long wait times. The audit confirmed that. Now administrators are talking about it too. They say 21 people died waiting to see a doctor. We have. Uh, of course, like every other health care system, when reviewing this list, we have come across people who have expired, who have died. What isn't clear? If those patients died because they had to wait. The VA is looking into that, along with scheduling issues that meant some patients had problems just seeing a doctor. The schedulers have been given mixed messages that they've had difficulty with our scheduling system. All scheduling staffers will get new training starting next week. The VA is also recruiting more doctors, nurses, and support staff. But this facility is still under a microscope. New Mexico is one of several states where investigators want to keep digging to find out if any records were deliberately falsified. Gone too are big bonuses given to administrators whose records showed patients were seen quickly. All of this is also part of the ongoing national investigation. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. The VA says right now in New Mexico, 45,000 veterans have scheduled medical appointments with the VA.